Hi, I'm Maggie Gunderson with Fairwinds Associates, and I'm here this afternoon, Thursday, May 26, 2011, to do an intro um, to Arnie's presentation before the NRC Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards. This afternoon, the ACRS held a special meeting to assess the status of the ongoing multiple accidents at the Fukushima nuclear plants. Unfortunately, um, whether intentionally or unintentionally, Arnie's presentation was interrupted continuously by whispering and rustling of many different papers. While the government and industry participants enjoyed nearly two hours of a lot of time to present, Fairwinds was granted only five minutes. You'll see for yourself how tough it is as an individual or an expert witness to testify to the NRC. Mr. Gunderson, uh, you have five minutes. All right, thank you very much. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Chairman and members of the Advisory Committee on Reactor Safeguards. I speak to you today as the Chief Engineer of Fairwinds Associates. I have not been retained by any group to make a statement at this meeting. Although there are many issues that must be resolved as a result of the nuclear accidents at Fukushima, I'll focus on the single issue of containment integrity in the brief time you've allotted me. I first wrote to you, the ACRS, in 2000... Yes? we're having some difficulty hearing you, so if you uh, try to... I'll call it on the phone line. Sort of speaking into a microphone, yeah. try to minimize... Don't put the paper um, between you and sort the of speaker. any physical contact with the microphone. I'm sorry. Uh, is this better? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, okay. 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 Um, I first wrote to you, the ACRS, in 2005 to express my concerns on Vermont Yankee and the net positive suction head waiver the ACRS had granted to Vermont Yankee. In 2008, Fairwinds was retained by CCAM to analyze the Millstone 3 containment. I spoke twice to the ACRS regarding my belief that the containment volume to power ratio at Millstone was the smallest of any Westinghouse four loop plant. At that meeting, the ACRS was told by the NRC that it does not have the capability to analyze containment systems. In 2009, Citizen Power. Can I interrupt? I think people either in the room or on the line that need to use their lines or to stop making noise next to the, the phone because I don't think that the status is coming from the production. If, uh, if there are other people on the line, uh, if you would please mute your uh, microphones on your end so that uh, we can hear Mr. Gunderson clearly. Hmm? Thank you very much. Mr. Gunderson, please proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, did, you, um, did you hear what I had said already or should I start again? Yes. No, we have heard up to this point, so okay. please proceed. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in 2009, Citizens Power retained Fairwinds to analyze a hole found in Beaver Valley containment. My analysis was also provided to the ACRS. In 2010, I met with you as a candidate for an opening on the ACRS. Then we discussed net positive suction head and its relation to containment integrity. I noted that the Browns Ferry units had not been allowed the NPSH credit, but the ACRS granted that credit to Vermont Yankee five years earlier. It was illogical that the people of Alabama have more accident protection than the people of Vermont. In 2010, at the AP1000 Oversight Group, Fairwinds was retained, and in April, Fairwinds provided to you a report detailing a long history of containment failures around the country. In 2010, John Runkel and I met with you for an hour and a half to delineate my concerns regarding doubts of the containment integrity of the AP1000 design. 
In December, I wrote to you again, notifying you of a significant amount of additional information about containment failures and flaws. Each time I have contacted you, the containment integrity data had been rebuffed and ignored. The accidents at Fukushima have confirmed my belief that the leakage of a nuclear containment cannot be based upon the assumption of a leak rate of zero as used by the NRC staff. Just this week, Tokyo Electric has finally acknowledged that all three Fukushima Mark I containment systems are leaking significant radiation into the environment and at least units one and two began leaking on the first day of the accident. Unfortunately, the possibility of such containment failures to which I alerted you for the last six years has been proven correct. It's no surprise to me that the containment systems have a long history of leaking and have now failed three times at Fukushima, yet it apparently comes as a major surprise to the NRC. The ramifications of the nuclear reactor containment leakage and failure of the NRC and this body must consider are, one, the SAMDA analysis for the Westinghouse AP1000 design is based upon false calculations that there is zero probability of a containment leak of any magnitude. The historical record prior to Fukushima proved this assumption false and the Fukushima containment failures require the AP1000 design be reanalyzed and retrofitted with charcoal filters on top of the shield building. This... Pardon me, Gordy? Yes? Uh, people, this is Jim Warren. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I, I apologize for interrupting, but there is so much noise on the phone bridge. It's obvious that some people are not listening and others that are on the phone cannot hear the presentation. Uh, sir, I have asked all others, except for Mr. Gunderson, to mute their phones so that we can hear him without interruption. Thank you. That's all I'm asking is that we can all hear him and that we all listen. Thank you. The ACRS has granted net positive suction heads credits to numerous reactors around the country in violation of regulatory guide number one. Today, in a simple stroke of the pen, the ACRS can acknowledge this erroneous decision by requesting the NRC staff to revise the licenses of reactors so that every reactor is in compliance with regulatory guide one. And with this simple one stroke of a pen, you can make all the reactors immediately safer than they are today. Three, everyone sitting at the ACRS today knows that the pressure suppression containments on GEBWRs were inadequate when they were first designed. As a result of that design inadequacy, boiling water reactor containment vents were added in 1989 to prevent containment over pressurization. Currently, there are 23 Mark I containment systems in operation. All Mark, I, <coughs> Mark I's have vents that were added as a Band-Aid fix. Events at Fukushima show that this fix did not work. I urge the ACRS to evaluate containment venting to determine whether or not any of these reactors should be allowed to continue operation. Fourth. The ACRS should stop license renewals of any BWR until the Fukushima accidents have been completely analyzed. For the record, and finally, Fairwinds finds it disconcerting that both NEI and DOE have been granted an hour to make a presentation to this body when NEI and DOE have responsibility for promotion of nuclear power. I brought these containment integrity issues to your attention for more than six years. In closing, I strongly suggest that each of you as members evaluate the bias you bring to the table when listening to experts with whom the nuclear industry disagrees. Thank you for your time, Mr. Chairman. I'll gladly brief you in detail if you choose. Thank you, Mr. Gunderson. Uh, we would appreciate it if you provide your uh, comments in a written form. I, I, will, um, I will send them to... Um, uh, to uh, Dr. Um, Dr. Ed um, Hackett uh, this afternoon. Thank you very much. Uh, 